you get your face painted. Am I right? Because, <laughs> you know, because if not, you, you came to the wrong shop. If that's not what you're after, <laughs> but it is, it is. Good, good. I'm so glad. You know, there's really, there's nothing I love more in the world than, uh, painting little faces, especially pretty faces like you, if I may say so. So, this being the scariest night all year, what did, um, did you have in mind for your face and maybe for your entire costume? I only do the do the face part really, but um but you know the costume is what what brings it all together, as you know. Mm, yes. And you know, of course the the face is the finishing touch. Well depending on the costume, depending on well what anyway, I ramble. I ramble on. Don't don't mind me. Just tell me what would you like to go as? This Halloween, are you going to to a party or just want to look scary at home for everyone who might drop by? Okay, excellent, excellent. So let me. Um, you're, you're still undecided. That's fine. That's fine. We don't all need to have these firm images in our in our mind before uh, before anything. So why don't I give you some some inspiration? Why don't I do that? Okay. So of course you could go as a pumpkin. A carved pumpkin head. And no this figuration is just one of the many, many options that uh, that I can do. You know, I can do whatever shape eyes you want. They can be triangle, they can be round, they can be square, they can even have some sort of more sinister, menacing look to them. I was gonna say realistic, but it's a pumpkin, so you know, I feel like the triangle is probably the most realistic that you can get. Uh, same goes with the nose, triangle, square, uh, just little dots for the nostrils. And of course, the mouth, you can have it as wide as you like, or as short as you like. You can have, again, like triangle teeth, like this. You can have square teeth. You can have big open mouth just like a, like a single tooth sticking out. Uh, you can have just like a single line, and then like skeleton teeth, just uh, vertical lines all across. And even for the face, I mean, you can go like for, for a stylized thing, where you get the, uh, the outline, or we could like paint your entire face orange or uh, do like a blacked out thing. I think that would be really cool as well. Where you paint the you paint the face orange and then sorry. And then the rest of the face, maybe the hair as well, and the neck, you just black it out with the black paint. So it really, really stands out. Anyway, that's one option. I'm just rambling on about the pumpkins because I just love pumpkins. <laughs> But anyway, I mean, there are other options, of course. You could go for the classic skeleton look, whited out face, and black eyes, black nose, black mouth. Really, I mean, in some ways, the skeleton and, and the pumpkin, they can look quite, quite similar. I mean, if I just had white face paint instead of the orange. I mean, this would be a fine skeleton. No one would be able to 
to tell the difference. And of course you can go all the different uh, styles that you want. And again, more realistic or more stylized, more sharp lines. Or more washed out. More blurred out. Faded out and blended colors, like a more grimy look. Um, I could do a zombie again, both frightening or cute, depending on your taste. I mean, we could paint like, like a little, uh, little piece of brains sticking out on your forehead. Um, I could even pull out the, the scar wax and give you some nice, like, bloody scars and, and slashes on your face. Mm, maybe a bit of a, a bit of a greenish tint and lots of little red scratches and stuff. I think that that would be pretty cool. Or, you know, any, any old monster type look, Frankenstein's monster. That would be probably all, all green on the face. And, um, yeah. Um, you could go as, um, as a ghost. Again, many options. Probably white in the face or black eyes. Maybe, maybe even just white all over. Another option for that would be a clown. Clown face makeup. You know. Lots of people are, are scared of clowns. You could go as Pennywise or, you know, just a, just a regular old clown. Maybe like just a little blood <laughs> dripping down the mouth, you know, just to, just to complete, complete the image. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think a lot of people would find that scary. And then you could do, I, I have like a, I have like a red, like a red clown nose. Then we could just boop on you. Boop. <laughs> you know, we could do that. We also have a lot of uh, more simple, quick and easy solutions for face paints available. Um, I can do cats, I can do dogs, fox, tiger lion, any, any zoo animal, really, <laughs> um, and for any of those, we could do, you know, the full face, or we could do just around the eyes, or just the bottom part, or the bottom half of the face with the mouth and the, the snout, or you could even be, be a butterfly, or a spider. A spider, you could do both, like cute and scary, or scary, either or. I could also do like a superhero look, any of the popular heroes you uh, can imagine, or just any, um, doesn't even have to be like a specific superhero, we could just do like a mask and some cool, cool colors, we could coordinate that. You know, your, your favorite colors, we could do, we could do that. Anyway, I'm rambling, I know, I just wanted to, you know, throw a bunch of ideas up there and, um, you know, see if any of them would stick, 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 <laughs> stick in your face. So, are you any closer to deciding what you like? A skeleton, you think? Yeah, that's very classic, but a bit more fancy. Okay, you know what? I know what you need. Let's do a sugar skull. You know what that is? Yes, exactly. Inspired by the Mexican face paint from Diaz de los, de los Muertos. <laughs> Sorry. Really, really beautiful. And we can go in any style or direction that you like. So tell me how much uh, how much time you have tonight before you have to go. Okay, perfect.
perfect, perfect, okay. We are going to do the most beautiful sugar skull on your face, okay? You ready? Good, let's go. So, let's get started by wiping your face down. It looks pretty clean already. Yeah, it does. But it's always nice for a painter to start with a freshly coated canvas before starting their work. So I'm just going to take some regular skin tonic, shake it up. Your head? Hmm? To the 
other side. Mm -hmm. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so. So just stare right at me. Perfect. Okay. Here. Okay. And the nose, I think we'll do like an oblong. size brush and again with the black paint brush here and plenty of black. Okay, so you may close your eyes or keep them open. Um, don't be afraid, I won't go right uh, near, near your eyes just yet. Won't do that with the eyeliner uh, afterwards. So this is just the outline. It's not gonna sting or anything, okay?
red lips. Beautiful. Okay, so that is the eye sockets of the skull all filled in. I think that looks pretty, pretty good already. So let us go in with the detail brush and we will do all. are the main go-to colors, and red, red as well. Just going all around the eye socket. Okay. 
let's do your lips afterwards. Okay, good. Good. Okay, so we'll just dot them in. Open your mouth just slightly. simple straight line but effective that was beautiful right
more details and complete the image, the illusion. There we go. Just get the fill it in. Red. So, let's mm, feel like we may be missing the final, the final touch. I will go in with the black wax pencil and I'll just draw the very faintest of, like, like twirls on your cheekbones going in eye sockets and the dots of red. I think that will really bring everything together. Okay. So let's start off. So just no, a very simple thing like that. Maybe just one long one long motion. So we should do that. some glitter on top, or... Mm, no, you know what? Forget I said that. You know, I was going to introduce my little pretty eyeshadow palette here, but the way we've built up your look, I mean, it's not really necessary. In fact, I think that would take something away from the simplicity and elegant beauty both well disturbing and beautiful at the same time my favorite combination <laughs> yeah yeah I think that looks pretty darn good and just one more thing before I forget, we should um, apply some setting powder so it is going to last all night, okay? Yeah, so you'll want to just, oh, wait a minute, we're not done. Good. this before. Okay, sure. Okay. So, don't move. Just keep your eyes open. Look at me. 
straight ahead and uh, it's not gonna hurt, it's not gonna sting or anything. I've done that like a million times before. Missed that. That was quite, quite embarrassing. So, but let's just get some powder on that face and yeah, just close your eyes. So